Story. There is one new reported case of COVID-19 in Newfoundland and Labrador today. The case is located in the Eastern Health region and is travel related. So far, the province has 28 active cases, 64,967 people have been tested. The investigation by public health into the source of the infection of the case announced on Saturday in Central Health remains under investigation. In other news, in the latest poll conducted by Narrative Research, there is continued support for the Provincial Liberal Party. The support has gone down a bit. The party is currently at 52% support. Voter support for the Progressive Conservative Party stands at 26%. The New Democratic Party remains consistent at 13% support. In other news, the RCMP reported that two, there were two more fatalities attributed to ATVs over the past 24 hours. Shortly after 5 o'clock p.m. on Monday, Porto RCMP received a report of a man trapped underneath an ATV in a residential area in the community. The man who died at the scene was not wearing a helmet. Then shortly after 3 o'clock a.m. on Tuesday morning, Placentia RCMP were advised of an overturned side-by-side -side ATV on the old railway bed near, Pl near Placentia Junction. Both men were originally trapped underneath the ATV. The driver managed to free himself and after some time departed on foot to call for help. Neither of the men were wearing a helmet. Your weather forecast is coming up right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. There is quite a bit of nasty weather on the way to portions of uh, the island portion of the province. There are snowfall warnings, wind warnings, and special weather statements in effect for uh, uh, areas in central Newfoundland and uh, the Avalon as well. For areas under a snowfall warning, 15 centimeters is expected by tomorrow morning, followed by about 2 to 10 centimeters uh, throughout the day on Wednesday. And then areas under a wind warning, winds may gust to 80 or 100 along parts of the coast through tomorrow morning. So here is the weather setup that we have for this storm. We are looking at mostly rain on the Avalon and uh, the Buren as well. Uh, there is a rain snow line uh, from portions of the south coast, south coast up through to uh, the uh, Bonavista Peninsula. And then we are looking at heavy snow in central, flurries expected back across the west coast. So the forecast overnight tonight, we are looking at heavy rain and fog in St. John's, about 20 to 30 millimeters is expected and the winds will be coming from the east, gusting to 70 at times. Gander tonight, heavy snow expected, 15 to 30 centimeters as possible. And then as we head into Cornerbrook, we're looking at about two centimeters of snow overnight tonight. So the forecast for tomorrow, it is going to be quite unsettled. We're looking at rain and gusty winds, especially in the morning on the Avalon. For the south coast, we are looking at flurries or rain showers and gusty winds. Central Newfoundland looking at heavy snow continuing, especially in the morning, and some blowing snow. So I would say that school closures are uh, definitely a possibility through your Wednesday. And then we are looking at flurries for Cornerbrook and for the Northern Peninsula. And then in uh, Labrador tomorrow, we are looking at flurries in Happy Valley, Goose Bay and Maine, and a chance of flurries in Western Labrador. Your extended forecast now, St. John's tomorrow are going to pick up two to four millimeters and winds will gust to 70. As we head into your Thursday, a mix of sun and cloud is expected. And then on Friday, we are looking at snow it could actually be significant snow, something that we're watching Thursday night into Friday. And then uh, the weekend looks fairly pleasant. Saturday, sun and cloud and zero. Sunday, a chance of showers and a high of four degrees. And then in Gander tomorrow, we'll pick up three to seven centimeters of snow combined with winds gusting to 70. So again, we are gonna see some blowing snow throughout the region for uh, your Wednesday. On Thursday, we are looking at a chance of flurries. Friday, looking at some flurry activity. Saturday, sun and cloud. Sunday, flurries and, and minus one. And then finally in Corner Brook, we'll see about two to five centimeters of snow tomorrow. It could mix with rain for uh, portions of the coast. For uh, Thursday, we are looking at sun and cloud with a chance of flurries. Friday, looking at flurries and zero. zero. Saturday, fairly overcast and some flurries expected for your Sunday. That's your news and your forecast. And now you can check out our storm coverage beginning at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.